Abstract Expressionism was a style of art that developed in the 1940s, though we can find a few examples that predate that time period. This painting is called Composition Number no. 8 by Kandinsky, and it's wonderful and delightful. We can see geometry in there, we can see organic shapes, all sorts of things, but what we don't see is a subject, and that was really important. There are no cats, dogs, people, landscapes. The artists of this time were really just looking to express their emotions through color and shape or to record their body movements. If you find a subject in the painting or one is alluded to, it cannot be this style of art. Abstract expressionists were really interested in painting in the purest way possible. So here we see an example by Jackson Pollock and it's a splash painting or a drip painting. He would literally just fly the paint right onto his canvas or drip it onto the floor. He wasn't interested in trying to depict something because everybody else was doing that. He wanted to just enjoy the joy of painting, and that would be through grabbing a stick, putting it in a can of paint, and just dripping it over the canvas. Sometimes his canvases were so large he would build a bridge over top of it and cast his paint from the bridge. Here we can see him working on his painting. You can see him there, bent over, splashing paint onto the canvas recording his body movements. Again, there's no subject, and he's trying to express what he feels through his use of color and paint and lines. This painting by Mark Rothko is called White, Red on Yellow, number 13. We don't see a subject. You might think perhaps that's a window, but it's not. He's just putting colors together, and he feels that one color next to another will exude some kind of emotional value. He did many kinds of different paintings like this, but they were all very simple. One shape, one color next to another. Very little blending is going on here, but he was interested in expressing an emotion. Mr. Motherwell is another painter of this style, and he did this painting called Elegy to the Spanish Republic. He actually did over 200 paintings on this, and they're all very similar. We have this use of black throughout the painting, and for him, black represented death. White kind of represented space and the space between death. So it's life and death. And he witnessed this through the Spanish Civil War uh, in his country.